Okay, what's up YouTube? Kyle here. Um, and I'm here to do part 21 of the Metal Vinyl Collection. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Back we're gonna blast some Disturbed. I just picked up 10,000 this. It's a throwback record for me back to like my childhood, so yeah. And yeah, just picked it up, so yeah. And also I got a haircut. Alright, so we're in the Morbid Angel Collection. Yeah. Morbid Angel, Bless Our, Bless Our The Sick, uh, Bless Our The Sick, which is uh, Morbid Angel's second record, and yeah, pick this up, uh, I think this is a 2015 repress, uh, this was one of those repress that Eric did with um, Century Media that um, they never said anything about it, you basically had to find out yourself, and I picked it up. Sounds pretty good. People say it sounds like shit, but it sounds pretty good. Oh, sorry you hear, hear that thing. And then stripping kit played. 180 gram on black mile. I think so. For me it's 160. But it weighs. Sounds pretty good. I know some people say it sounds bad, but I don't know. It sounds pretty good for me, so. First disturbed song I heard. But it was her stuff. Next one. Morbid Joe Covenant. Um, one of my favorite Morbid Joe records. Um, 2000 and. This is 2013 repress. This is for the, I think, 20th anniversary? Yeah, 20th anniversary. Full dynamic range. All that crap. And it comes with a slip mat that I never used. And it comes with a sticker that apparently was used. Fucking. Okay. Sticker. And it comes with a slip mat. But yeah. Sticker of Covenant, slip mat of Covenant. And the record itself is I have the God of Emptiness in the sleeve. A standard grand, God of Emptiness clear. Which is limited to 200 copies. Pretty cool. Sounds really good. But yeah. Like I said, uh, one of my favorite Morbid Angel records. Um, one that I really enjoy. And the slip mat's in there. I never used the slip mat, I just always kept it. But yeah, Covenant. Ah, uh, here's my baby. This is my personal favorite. More range of Domination. Um, this is a Rocktober repress, which I'm so happy they did this. I'm also still going to pick up if um, they do a full dynamic range. But yeah, no lyrics. And standard black vinyl, 180 gram. I think so. 160 maybe, but um, limited to 2,500. Nothing, nothing too special. Sounds really good. Um, and yeah, I'm just happy they repressed this because this is a record I didn't want to have for forever because this is the record that got me into Morbid Angel. And plus, this is my favorite Morbid Angel record. I just wish they used the CD artwork, but I know the vinyl and the CD artwork didn't have any different artwork, so yeah. We got more into Tango of Chaos, their live album, which is the E. Really, really good live album. First time on vinyl from your rig. This one's 180 grams. This is definitely 180 grams. I got the clear splatter, which is limited to, I think, how much? 300 copies.
really good live album. I, I'm trying to pick this up also on CD. Because I actually really like this live album. Ah. Tango and Chaos. Great fucking record. I don't have um, the H yet, but we have um, Gateway, and I also don't have Fatal Formula, which I'm, I'm, not, I'm most likely not going to pick up because it's, I don't really like that record. But um, Gateway of Annihilation, it's a pretty good record in terms of um, lyrics. And I have the Purple Vinyl, it's limited to 300. It was just a random repress they did, you're right. It sounds pretty really good, so. I'm just happy they did this. But yeah, uh, Morbid Angel. That's the Morbid Angel collection so far. I'm just waiting until I get my Heretic copy. Uh, right now, we just gotta wait. Uh, so now we have other bands. We got the Morbid Saint, uh, Thrash Metal Band from the 80s. Um, this is the refresh from Century Media, which they did a great fucking job on it. Beautiful picture. And it comes with a booklet, which I'm not in the mood to take out. White sleeve, and it's on a light, like, light blue, lightning blue color, light blue vinyl, which looks awesome. Sounds fucking amazing, 180 gram. And it's, um, uh, limited to 200 copies. Pretty cool. Great fucking thrash metal record. One of my favorites actually, because I actually really enjoy this. Thrash metal. Really, really crazy sounding thrash metal. If you're into that, I, I like thrash. Next we got Mortician um what is it? Domain of Death, which is uh I don't like Mortician record, not my favorite, but I had to get it because it's Mortician and I'm a sucker for Mortician. One of my favorite, probably my favorite Google Death Band. And this is on a Ox Blood Morge with Brown Blood Morge. It's not limited to anything, it's nothing limited to. But yeah. When someone's trying to call you, but good thing you put it on vibrate. Uh -huh. It's funny. Mortician, Darkest, uh, Darkest Day of Horror, which is a great Mortician record. This one I really enjoy. Uh, it has one of my favorite Mortician songs, which is, um, it's, uh, Final Sacrifice, which is the last song off the record. This is on a cool, cool, half clear, half blue vinyl. It's more like dark, clearish. Coke bottle looking, but it sounds pretty good. Um, this is from these reprises are from Hell's Headbanger, and Hell's Headbanger knows how to do really good reprises, so I am really happy. And, and Domain of Death and Darkest Day, Darkest um, Hour, uh, I mean, Darkest Day of Horror is um, the first time on vinyl. And we got Mortician Reanimate, uh, Dead Flesh. Which is my favorite Mortician record. I have this, I have the original picture disc and this version, and the repress from, um, from, um, what's his name? Um, from Hell's Handbanger. This is my favorite. And this is their, I think their last full length record. And this is on a cool, light, light, Highlighter yellow with three splatter. Really awesome. Sounds fucking great. Uh, this one I think is limited to 300 copies, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. Is it? 400. 400. Really cool. 400. Pretty fucking cool. And the last one is Mortal Massacre from Mortician, which is just a compilation of a live. A live, two live shows, 
and one um, Ender early EP single is right there and demos I think. So it's a double LP, 180 grams. So yeah, black vinyl. I don't think it's 180 gram now, but um, keep on. I keep on guessing to the, in this video. Uh, it's, it is just standard, but um, but it comes with an awesome, awesome etching on side B, which I'm trying to get. Yeah, I love this etching. Basically, like their old demo cover on the etching, which is pretty fucking lit. And yeah, that's all the vinyls I got to show you for now. Um, I know I'm getting um the key, the turtles, the key, which is coming soon. And um, I don't know if I get anything else, I'll make a video. Other than that, I'm probably gonna do another one tomorrow of uh, another uh, metal vinyl for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Take care, stay fucking metal, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.